7 returns. number one adventurer, K-7, former United States secret agent who operated in 22 countries on land, on sea, and in the air, brings you a story of today. We take you to secret agent K-7 headquarters. This is K-7 speaking. Send in special agent Z for assignment. At what, K-7? Special agent Z reporting for assignment. Agent Z, we have been called to this country to cooperate with certain government departments in combating espionage. It is known that some person or group in this city is offering for sale the defense plans of an important naval base. This information fell into the hands of the intelligence department by accident. A sailor overheard a conversation and reported to his superior officer. You will find names and places in this survey of the known facts. I suggest you begin by checking the persons whose names I have underscored. Keep me informed. Records supplied by K-7, Agent Z found that much of the known information revolved around one Anton Berg, a man who lived well at one of the large local hotels and who owned a summer home at a nearby shore resort. That much seemed to be all the information available. The next morning, a new maid tapped on the door of Berg's suite. Who is it? The maid, sir. All right, come in. May I come now, sir? I suppose so. You're new, aren't you? I've never seen you before. Oh, no, sir. This is my first day. It's the regular maid's day off, sir. Well, clean up as fast as you can and get out. I'm going to the grill room. And don't touch anything, do you understand? Yes, sir. Well, don't forget it. I've seen you before, Berv. Unless I'm mistaken, Z has your picture in his file of wanted spies. Now, let's see. I'll look through his desk first. It's locked. Perhaps one of these skeleton keys Z gave me will work. Well, this one turns. Here's a note. Must have been delivered recently. Meet me Wednesday night. Z will want to see this. Here's a memorandum book. Names and addresses. What are you doing in that desk? I... I was straightening it up, sir. When I left this room, the desk was locked. Now the drawer is open. Perhaps you can explain, mademoiselle. Oh, it was locked? No. Oh, there were papers on top. I, I, I pulled the drawer open to put, in, put them in so I could dust. And the drawer opened when I took hold of it. I think you are lying. Oh, no, sir. I shall report you to the management. Now get out. Yes, sir. Go ahead. finished her day at the hotel to avoid suspicion. That night, she reported to Agent Z. 
His Berg's pictures, eh? I knew we had it among our photographs of wanted spies. Oh, so that's Anton Berg. His real name is Nabokov. I've heard K-7 mention him. Now, let's look at this note again. See, meet me Wednesday night at Beach House, and I will deliver the plan. It's signed Zorin. Today is Wednesday, Z. Yes. If that note was delivered to Berg last night or this morning, it means Zorin will meet him tonight. Yes, you're right, Pat. Uh, have you had your dinner yet? No, and I'm as hungry as a bear. Believe me, maids in hotels really work. I made so many beds today, my arms feel ready to drop off. Then go get your dinner and meet me back here in half an hour. All right. While you're gone, I'll telephone L6. I'm going to have him pick up Anton Berg and follow him. When you get back, we'll go into Berg's beach house. Less than two minutes later, Pat stepped into the street outside Agent Z's small hotel. As she started for a restaurant nearby, two men came up on either side of her. One was Berg. Don't try to run to make an outcry, Mansell. <laughs> we both have guns. What do you want of me? Walk between us to the car at the curb. If you try to get away, I will shoot you. Get in the back seat. All right, Albert. Go ahead. Sometime later, Agent Z returned to his room. He was worried. When Pat had failed to return within an hour, he'd gone out to search the neighborhood. No one had seen her. As he entered his rooms, the telephone rang. Hello? Yes, yes, L6. Hey, listen, Pat has disappeared. Has he been in touch with you? Well, I just asked on an off chance. I've been looking for her for an hour. Yes? You say Berv drove to his hotel and stopped? And a few minutes later, he left and took the road to the beach. I see. He's probably gone to Beach House. Uh, meet me in front of the hotel. We'll go there at once. Well, there's a chance that Pat may have either followed him or she may be with him. I'm going to find out. A few minutes later, Agent Z and L6 reached Berv's summer home. They found lights burning in two rooms. Agent Z posted L6 outside, then went around to the dark side in an attempt to get in. Inside, two men talked. Now, Zorin, tell me, are you sure these drawings are accurate? Every one in the notebook is drawn to scale. Every gun placement is marked. These circles indicate the locations of new 16-inch guns that are to be installed later. Good, sir. Good. The concrete foundations are already in place. Good. Now, you have a map of the harbor on this next page. I do not quite understand what these markings mean. The larger ones are the positions that will be taken by warships in the harbor. Ah. The smaller marks outside show the locations of mines. The entire harbor is mined. An enemy ship entering without this chart would be blown to bits. Good, good. This is good, Zorin. Yeah. You have done an excellent job. That notebook will cost you just $10,000 per. It's worth it. With the information it contains, bombing planes can destroy the naval base and all warships anchored in the harbor. Very well. I'm prepared to pay you. As the money here, you will find $10,000 in small bills in this envelope. These are all good bills? No, of course they are. Anton Berg does not believe in trickery. You may be useful to me again someday, Soren. Here. Count the money if you wish. What is that, Bell? Stay here, Soren. There's an electric burglar alarm attached to every window in this house. Either someone is trying to get in or the girl we brought with us is attempting to escape. Oh, where are you going? There is no danger, my friend. Remain here in this room. I will be back. Bell. Is that you? Uh. Stand where you are. Don't try to move. Who is this man, Pat? His name is Zorin. He's the man who sold the naval base plans. She lies. I have no plan. Keep quiet, Zorin. 
Search him, Pat. All right. Make sure he doesn't have a gun. There's no gun, Z. Wait. Wait, here's an envelope. It's full of money. Yeah, Burb has already paid him. All right, son. Where did Burb go? You better answer. He went out that door just before you came in. Z? Yes? He's getting into a car outside. Well, keep the door uncovered, Pat. I'm going through this window. situation become that the president of a great republic recently issued the following executive order to protect the nation's naval bases. Quote, at no time shall a person enter the defensive sea area above defined, nor shall any vessel or any other craft be navigated within said defensive areas unless authorized by the secretary of the navy. Unquote. Listen for my next story. This is K7 speaking.